Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm going to be using a, um, it's a placemat that I bought from local Kmart. I think it was only $3. So it provides a really good surface to paint on. And I've just covered the back with a piece of paper and then taped it off. Um, it's 38 centimetres wide and it already has cork on the back because it's a placemat. So I'm not actually going to use this as a table centerpiece um, so that people can put, I don't know, pepper and salt or a bottle of wine or whatever in the middle of the table. And I will be covering this once it's finished with um, resin, Stone Coat Countertops Art Resin, which is um, really great for anything where you think hot food or um, plates might be put on because it's heat resistant up to 200 degrees centigrade, which I think is around 400 Fahrenheit. Don't quote me on that. Um, so I'm just going to use up some paints today um, that I've had lying around and I want to um, reuse the bottles. So what I've got is I've got a lot of um, Montmartre poster paint that I've mixed up a long time ago. And I just want to use those. And I just wanted to show you that with regard to poster paint, it is just a tempura paint, so it's not acrylic. However, when you mix it with Floetrol, it becomes almost like acrylic. So instead of being um, dry and crumbly, if you just used it by itself, it is very dry and crumbly. Um, instead, if you mix it with Floetrol and let it dry, see how stretchy this is? This is a piece I just poured and let dry. Um, and it is so stretchy. Look at that. So mixing the poster paint with Floetrol basically turns it into acrylic. So I just thought I'd let you know that because sometimes people are wanting to use the poster paints um, and wondering what they're like and I have found them to actually be very good. Um, I've just mainly gone on to other paints because that's just how I've developed over the, over the um, time. But um, yeah, if you mix the Montmartre poster paints with Australian flow troll, or I would imagine American flow troll um, would be the same. Uh, they give, it gives it that plasticky, acrylicy feel. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to be using a little sink strainer that you can just, um, I just bought that online somewhere, just um, look under sink strainers. Um, and what I'm going to be do, doing today is I'm actually going to be pouring the paints in here and then I'm going to be moving this around the edge. Um, I haven't put a base down because I'm going to be laying enough of the paints that I shouldn't need a base, but we might need to put a bit of extra paint at some point. So I will tell you the colours as we go. Um, and let's just have a bit of fun today, see how this turns out. Because I really don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, the first colour I'm going to use is the, um, it's made up out of the global purple mixed with the metallic pearl from Araldo, which I used the other day. Um, so I just want to use that up now, but that made a beautiful, beautiful purple colour, metallic purple, lovely. So don't be afraid to mix your colours up. Now I haven't had to put any gesso or anything on this. You can paint straight on top of this type of thing. Just give it a wipe over with some isopropyl alcohol to clean it off. Um, but you don't need to put any gesso or anything on there. So I'm just going to load up my little, and it will start to flow out anyway. And that's okay. Just load some paint into there. This is the Montmartre Post to Paint Light Purple. Looks like it's had a bit of blue in this bottle at some stage. And this is the Montmartre Poster Paint Cerulean Blue. Just loading it up as much as I can. It is flowing out 
at the same time. So I'll try and do it quite quickly. Montmartre poster paint, phthalo blue. And the Montmartre poster paint purple. And throw in a little bit of gold. Montmartre pouring paint gold. This one's not the poster paint. Okay, I better get this moving. Oh, look at that gold forming all those cells. Wow. So I'll just be moving this and then stopping and loading it with some more. As quickly as I can. I'm loving how that gold's caused all those cells. So the Montmartre pouring paint, I do add a little bit of uh, Australian flow troll to it. Not a lot, just a little bit to get it to the right consistency that I like. But I'll definitely put a bit more of that in there. Okay, off we go again on the move, not too fast. I want this to get to the edges as well. I'm loving the colors together well. Get a bit more in there. I'm not fussing too much about how I'm layering. Whoops, that's not me, it's the bottle. Better not be me anyway. Okay, now I'll just drag that through here. Almost seemed a shame to wreck that up actually. Just trying to get the edges covered. Put a bit more gold in there. And I've found that the um, Montmartre, pouring pa uh, Montmartre poster paints actually dry really well when they're mixed with the Australian Flow Troll. Oh, I'm loving these colors together. Now yeah, I've got to get into the middle there somehow. Just drag that over. Do another little pour in the middle. Loving this. This is exciting. Not that one ran out, didn't it? Just making all the funny noises. A bit there. A bit more there. And put a bit of this metallic in. Use that up a bit. This wasn't uh, poster paint, of course. That particular colour. And get a bit more of the gold in there. Look at these cells. Look at that. So I'm going to say that Montmartre pouring paint with the, with the gold, Montmartre pouring paint gold with a bit, a bit of Australian flow troll in it makes a beautiful cell activator. So it's one to remember, guys, if you're having trouble with your black or your white ones, go, go gold. Just wiggle this over, try and fill up some of my edges where I didn't get yet. Not that I need to. It's got a bit of gold in there, I don't want to waste too much. Okay, now I'm just going to give this a little spin out. That will fill up all the gaps anyway when I spin it. Just pop him over there. I am loving that. Just going to give it a hit with the heat gun. I love the peacock sort of uh, flower effect that you get from, not peacock flower, peacock uh, feather. Look, you get from um, using the little sink strainer. I've done some pieces in the past where I've just used the sink strainer without moving it and then just let the um, colours go out from there and uh, it's just gorgeous. So just, you know, a simple little tool like that can make something so beautiful. I've actually just ordered um, another set of different ones online. I've got 
slightly different shapes, but they haven't arrived yet. I think they're coming on a slow boat from China somehow. Okay, let's just do a small spin. Don't wanna lose too much. Another small spin. I've got paint going everywhere. Probably should be in the puppy pool to be doing this. Right, now I think I'm just going to tilt the rest of that because I don't want um, too much being spun off. Don't want to wreck it either. Um, what will I do? Okay, just another little spin. Stopped it with my finger right in the main part of it, of course. Right, so I'm just going to have to fill up these little gaps a little bit, tilt it slightly. Now, if I had to put a base down, I wouldn't have that problem right now, but I didn't. So, no use crying over spilt milk, is there? Just put a tiny bit in here. And along the edge there, a couple of colours. Try and get that to fill in a little bit. Fill that little bit in there, it'll run off anyway. It just helps the other colours to run over the top. If you don't have any um, base paint, it does slow the paints down so they can't run over the top so easily. So I'm just doing a little bit of paint in there. Help that move a little bit. And then I'm just going to do a tiny little balloon piece. No, I'm not. I'm just going to get the little Let's see, a little sink strainer and I'll just give it a little press. There we go. Gives us a little pattern there. Right, okay. So now I'm just going to tilt it slightly. Hopefully the um, putting that bit of paint on here will help that to run off a little bit. You see now, I hope you can see, that that's moving a little bit easier. Whereas it was refusing to move at all just before. But I don't want to move my patterns around too much. Just a little bit. a little gap here. Just put a tiny bit of gold in there, I think. Fill that in. Just a little bit. That'll level out in a minute. Right, well, I'm nearly finished with that. I think that's an absolutely beautiful piece. Um, once that dries, that gold will just shimmer through there. And I'm loving how it's formed all those, all those cells and created all that activity. I really like this rivering effect here. And then the peacock um, sort of feather effect there where I finished that piece off in the middle and pulled it away. So I hope you like that, guys. I love it. Um, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, I'll bring you down for a close-up. Well, here we are back again, guys, for the close-up. I've actually... Um, Turn the flashlight on on my video camera here just so you can see that shimmer but look at those cells that have been created by the Montmartre pouring paint gold mixed with a little Aussie flow troll and these beautiful feather shaped pieces that have been formed by using that sink strainer and where I've run the sink strainer across 
the um, board has created these gorgeous rivers. See that shimmering there where the gold's run in through there and more gorgeous cells here and that shimmer again there. Look at that. That's where the gold has run in through those other paints. And this, these are just the um, Montmartre pouring uh, poster paints other than the gold, of course, and I also threw in another colour. But most of the paints on here are just the poster paints mixed with Australian flow troll. So that's a beautiful piece, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching that being made and I'll try and come up now for a full view of the whole thing. Hopefully that's in there. Okay. So I hope I'll see you back here again soon and hope you've enjoyed that today. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back here real soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.